So this video is gonna be a little different. I need to update my prototype. So I'm gonna be updating the prototype tonight and then I'm play testing it tomorrow. And I thought I would take you along with me. So this is a game that a publisher is currently reviewing. I sent them a pitch video for it in November last year. And they, they said that they were interested and they wanted to see a physical prototype, which is awesome. So I made a brand new fresh prototype for them. I mailed it to them at the start of January and they're currently playing it and I should hear, I think pretty soon, they seemed to be moving things uh, along kind of fast. Like they wanted the prototype fairly quickly. So we'll see what happens, but I'm still play testing it. I'm still working on it. And so what I am updating specifically for this next play test is I want to add some hidden personal goals for players. I did originally have that in a previous version way back at the start of this game. I've been working on this game for quite a while, but now the game is pretty tight. I'm feeling really good with where it is. So I want to bring those back in to see if they make the game more dynamic and interesting. I am super happy with where the game is right now, but I do want to test this out and see how it works. So I'm going to be setting i I'm going to give myself 15 minutes to update this. I don't want to be doing this all night. I got other things I need to do and I'm tired. I just got home from my day job and chilled for a little bit, but I know I need to do this before the play test tomorrow because I don't have any time between my day job and the play testing tomorrow. Um, I I normally finish my day job at six, but on playtesting nights, I ask my work if I can finish at five, so work earlier and finish earlier, which they allowed me to do, which is great. But then I, I have like 10 minutes to get to pick up my prototype, get ready and go and catch the bus to play test. So I need to update tonight and have the prototype ready to go for tomorrow. So let's get to it. So I definitely, definitely have been working on this longer than 15 minutes, but it's all good. <laughs> so I made 15 hidden objectives so that even up to a five player game, you'll always get three choose one. So it's like bonus points uh, for every delivery you make to a certain customer or from a certain store. So yeah, this is a pick up and deliver game based on, <sighs> oh, I'm so tired. <laughs> Bike couriers delivering orders around a city. I was going to color them in, but I was like, Pam, don't put the markers down. I did make some new printable player mats, so I'm gonna print some of those now. They're updated and they're just a bit clearer. So I will be doing that as well, and uh, the available orders sheet as well. All right, so we're going from this to that. Ooh. While this is printing, I can show you, I have my notebook for taking my notes and uh, I wrote down what I'll be focusing on testing tomorrow. So the hidden objectives, deal three, choose one, start of the game. And then there's some other little things like if there's a tie during the game for accepting new orders, it goes to the player furthest down the turn order. And then also paying for items that you pick up from downtown right away. It used to be a penalty you would pay after the order was complete, but now we're doing it from the start. So I wrote what I'm testing, and then this is where I'll put the playtesters' names. I always keep track of, oh, look at that. Lovely. I always keep track of playtesters' names every time I playtest in case the game is published. I have a list of everyone who's playtested it, so I can include that in the rule book as an acknowledgement. Now I'm currently printing out the updated player mat. So this is what I was using before, just hand-drawn player mat. And this is the new player mat. So I'm gonna pack everything up, putting everything in my Ziploc bag and my notebook and a pen, just in case. All right, my prototype is updated and ready to go. So I'll see you tomorrow.
right, I'm gonna grab my prototype real quick, get changed, and then go catch the bus.